All right, what's up, everybody? We're back with another edition of Everyday Hoops. Hope you guys are having a good one. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the New Orleans Pelicans. They're coming on a four-game win streak. They're climbing up in the Western Conference. We're going to talk about today, how good are they actually? I feel like they're one of the more interesting and confusing-ish kind of teams in the league. Just based on like how far they could be, how low they could go, stuff like that. We're going to talk all about them in today's video. Uh, thank you guys for the views on the videos and the shorts recently. I really appreciate it. We are on the road to 500 subs. So if you do like the content around here, consider subscribing, like, turn notifications, do all stuff like that. I really appreciate it. It really helps out a lot. Link to my Twitter, TikTok, stuff like that in the description down below. And uh, yeah, don't waste any more of your time. Let's get right into it. So the New Orleans Pelicans. We know the last few years they've been one of the teams that, you know, young team with a lot of talent that once they get healthy, once they get together, eventually in the future, they're going to be something, you know, something to, to fear. They're going to be a team that, you know, a lot of people are not going to want to play. They're going to be one of the next up-and-coming teams, you know. And the one thing that's held them back, of course, is the injuries. Injuries have been just a huge part in this North Pelican team for the past, like, I want to say three years. Based on how good they've been, you know, they've always had somebody miss some time whether it's a rotational player their star player whether it's both their star players miss just missing time you know and this year was a thing as well this year they did not have a good start they started off four and six uh they're on a five game losing streak early in the year and injuries were still a big factor a lot of their role players all their bench were injured and it was just a big thing of like this pelicans team it is it's a time to panic for new orleans you know it's time to maybe trade off one of their star players or something like that because it's just not working they look pretty bad defensively they were not good they're giving up a lot of points um they just weren't looking consistent it was not looking good early in the year but then they went a little you know stretch they went a little good stretch uh they went five and one in their next six games including three NCAA tournament wins went up to nine and seven they beat teams like the Mavericks, the Nuggets, the Kings twice. They beat the Clippers. They only lost to Minnesota by one point. And it was like, okay, maybe here, come, here comes New Orleans. You know, here they come. But then they lose two games in a row to the Utah Jazz. So it's like they're 9-9 nine nine on November 27th. And it's like, all right, they're a 500 team. How good are they? I don't know. How bad are they? I don't know. You know, since that, since they went 9-9, nine and nine, they're 7-2 and two in their last nine games. They're coming on a four-game win streak. They're 16-11. They're up to seventh in the Western Conference. Uh, they made it all the way to the NCAA Tournament semifinals, which they lost to the Lakers by a lot. They got blown out. That was the one. Them and the Bulls. They lost to the Lakers and the Bulls. Those are the only two losses in the last nine games. But since then, they beat the 76ers. They beat the Kings. They beat the Timberwolves. And then the other games, I mean, they beat San Antonio twice. They beat the Hornets. They beat the Wizards. Stuff like that. But they're currently rolling on the four-game win streak up to 16-11. and 11. Things are looking a lot better, uh, you know. Looking at some of their team stats, they're 11th in points per game. They're ninth in field goal percentage, so they're getting points. They're shooting efficiently. Uh, they're doing it not from the three ball though. Three pointers are only 27th in three pointers made and three pointers attempted per game. So they're not taking a lot of threes. But if you look at their roster, they don't really have a lot of shooting on their roster, so it kind of makes sense. They're 18th in the three point percentage as well, but they get to the free throw line a lot. They're seventh in free throws made. They're fifth in free throw attempts, but they're only 24th in free throw percentage. So they got to get that up. Tenth in rebounding. Tenth in assists per game. Uh, they have the 15th rated offense, the 10th rated defense, 12th in net rating. So, you know, they're kind of just in good, pretty solid team on both ends. Offensively, they're pretty average. Defensively, they're pretty above average, I guess. So that's their thing. Uh, looking at how they score on offense, they take a lot of twos, a lot of in the paint, a lot of two pointers, a lot of mid ranges. They're sixth in the percentage of field goal attempts that are twos. Six, almost 65% of their field goal attempts are twos. Um, and also their ninth in percent of points that are two-pointers. So 53.6% of their points are two-pointers. Um, and they're also one of the top in the league in mid-ranges attempted. So, I mean, they definitely know their identity. They know we're not going to shoot a lot, hit a lot of threes, so we're just going to get to the paint. You know, we have a lot of guys that get to the paint, get to the mid-range, and love to work in there. You also get to the free throw line a lot. They're fourth in percentage of points in the free throws. 17% of their points come from the free throw line. Defensively, they're pretty solid ever. Except for their threes, uh, they give up the most amount of threes per game. They give up almost 40 three-point attempts per game. But their fourth in a point of three-point percentage is 34%, which is interesting because last time when I did my Power Rankings video, I was looking at this stuff, and I was like, the Pelicans are playing a risky game. 
because they gave up the most amount of threes, but at the time, they had the best opponent three-point percentage. So they're giving up the most threes, but their teams are shooting the worst against them. Now it's starting to fall a little bit. They're giving up the most threes. Teams still aren't shooting that great, but I guess their mentality is just, you're going to take all these threes that, you know, you're not going to make all of them. You know, eventually you're going to miss. So we're just going to give up the three and, you know, hope that they shoot themselves out of the game, I guess is their mentality, which is very interesting. But, I mean, it's working so far, I guess, a little bit. They're 16-11 right now. Um, looking at some of the players on their team, you know, um, Zion Williamson, I guess, is a big one. Uh, so far, he has missed only five games. He's played 22 of the 27 games. He's averaging 22 and a half points, six rebounds, four assists, and a steal. He's shooting 58% from the field, 65% from the free throw line. Um, definitely a lot of talk with Zion, of course. Um, a lot of things that, you know, have been questioned throughout his entire career. You know, just like how much does he really care? How much does he really want to put in? His body, stuff like that. And definitely there's some, like, it's tough because you can definitely see why the conversations are had sometimes. Some, there's definitely some times where it looks like, you know, maybe, maybe he doesn't care. Maybe he got his money now. He's living good in New Orleans. He's like, you know what? You know, we're cool. There's a lot of times where his body, you know, looks bigger than actually, especially this year. You know, he looks like a big guy. He's always been a big guy. But this year he looks pretty you know, hefty, <laughs> you want to say, but, I mean, he still put up solid numbers, it just doesn't look like the same Zion, I guess, like, he's having similar numbers to his rookie season, which is pretty solid, but, you know, like, he just hasn't had the same oomph that we've seen from Zion the past two years, when he's played, you know, but, I mean, he is healthy, he's only missed games, he's only missed, like, one game at a time due to, like, you know, just resting and stuff like that. So, and personal reason, I think he missed a game or two for. But besides that, he's been pretty healthy and being out there. Brandon Ingram as well. He's leading the team in scoring, averaging 23 points per game, four rebounds, five assists. He's leading the team in assists as well. Shooting 49% from the field, 32% from three, 80% from the fifth line. He's had his great games, he has bad games. You know, he yeah, averages the most amount of turnovers as well, but he also has the ball in his hands a lot. Um, his three point, the street point shot has just not been falling for him. He's usually a pretty solid three point shooter, but this year hasn't been the case. Uh, he still had his good games, though, even without hitting a lot of threes. He still had his good games. Um, he also hasn't been kind of the same all-star kind of B.I. that we're used to seeing. As well. The top two guys for New Orleans have not been at their best this year. They've had some moments where they look like they're at their best, but they haven't been consistently at their best this year. But they're still kind of winning games. C.J. McCollum, he missed a lot of games due to the lung injury. But he's back. He's averaging 20 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists, and a seal. He's shooting 46% for the field, 42% from three. You know, uh, he just had a 29-point game last night against the Spurs. He's been good. Uh, Jones Valchunas, he's the only guy that's played in every game. Well, him and Dyson Daniels have been the only guys that played in every game this year. JV's averaging 14, 9, and 2 with a block, shooting 56% from the field, 37% from three. Just had a good game the other day against Charlotte. He's been consistently down there down low. Uh, but then after that, they've honestly they've gotten this far because their role players are finally healthy and stepping up. You know, Herb Jones has been amazing this year. 11 4 and 2, a steal and a block, shooting 48% from the field, 33% from three. You know, uh, he's been 86% from the free throw line. He's been very, very good. He's one of the better wing defenders in the league. He can just do everything, and he's just a great piece of that team. Um, Jordan Hawkins, their rookie, he's kind of lost out on, on rotation because early in the year they had a lot of injuries. Now they're mostly fully healthy. So he's lost a lot of his time in the rotation, but he still should probably get him in. He's a very valuable piece. He's the guy that can shoot the three ball. And they don't have a lot of guys that can do that. He's shooting 35% from three. He takes the most he takes the most threes on the team. He's averaging over six attempts per game because his job really is to space that floor. He's been doing a pretty solid job at it. Again, he has lost minutes now since um, a lot of their players have come back in healthy, but he's still a very valuable piece to have on their team. Uh, Najee Marshall has missed a lot of times, but he's been pretty solid. Jose Alvarado just came back, and he's been all right. You know, Dyson Daniels, he's the only other guy besides Valentino that's played in every game. He's averaging 6-4-3 and three with a steal. Defensively, he's there. He's really good defensively. Just, you know, try to find some things offensively. Um, they had guys like Larry Nance, Jeremiah Robson, Earl, Cody Zeller play some minutes. But Trey Murphy. Trey Murphy is a big piece of this team. So far, he's played in seven games. Just came back. He's averaging 16-4-2. He's shooting 50% from the field, 40% from three, 82% from the free throw line. He's really good. He's, he's, he is really, 
really good you know like he's a big piece of this team you can see right away you know when um he plays when he plays they're six and one in his seven games they're six and one the only loss was to the lakers that laker game but since then he's been great he's been shooting the lights off from three he's scoring you can see how just how valuable he is to his team he makes his team better you know and yeah looking at this entire pelicans team it's still a very interesting one it's still not a team that i would put high up yet because we haven't seen them on a consistent healthy stretch yet now we're seeing it and they won four in a row so that's amazing but i just want to see it keep going and get a little bit more you know time together a little bit more bigger portfolio you know bigger stretch to see okay how real is this team because i still am kind of like going back and forth on how where i feel this team is you know because their team i can definitely could see as a top six team miss out in the play-in they have that kind of talent but i can also see this team be like a nine or ten seed just because they're so young but also like injuries are gonna one of the injuries gonna come back you know one of the injuries gonna go back like how consistent are they gonna play you know can they really match up against a team like denver dallas minnesota consistently like they beat them before but can they consistently match up against them you know and beat them you know we, we have more we still have you know, we still have to see you know like this is still a very like odd team to place in my opinion because they're so young but they are good but they have had a lot of things holding them back you know like right now they're seventh in the west that's a pretty solid spot for them you know i could see them going up a little bit higher if they get a little good win streak but i can also see them going lower because of how deep the west is like they're just a very tough team to kind of place right now in the west I mean, we are still early in the year. We're not even at Christmas yet. So, I mean, they still have so many games left to play and so much time more to gel that they could get better. But I don't know. I'm just very, it's just very interesting to see yeah, where this team will end up, how they're going to end up eventually. Because I like this team. Obviously, I like some players. Zion, I think, is really good. BI is really good. You know, CJ, Trey Murphy, Jonas Valanciunas. Like, on paper, this looks like a pretty solid team. You know, it's just, I don't know how consistent they could be out there on the court how consistently can they play together first of all before injuries hit hopefully they don't hit hopefully we get to see a healthy team but you know seeing how the last three years have gone i can't really you know bank and count on that can't count on the two star players being out there all the time you know because of their history um it's just very interesting you know they're very confusing kind of weird team in the west of place right now so we just gotta wait and see how good they're gonna be. But right now they're playing good, so that's that's all that matters right now. They're playing good, you know. They're playing consistent. They're getting back healthy. So we'll see where they end up. But yeah, they're definitely a team to watch for and see, you know, what happens over there. But yeah, it's gonna be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, if you like the content, consider subscribing, like, turn notifications, do all stuff like that. I really appreciate it. it really helps out a lot. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow.